Hello guys, how are you doing today? All right, today I will be sharing an old file, okay? An old file that um, I did uh, in evictions uh, a while back, maybe probably 10 years ago in Oakland, okay? Um, the law back then is a, little, it's, it's a lot easier, okay? Um, compared to now, now it's, it's, everything changed and the law is more stricter, um, but I'm still gonna be sharing with you how I did it, okay? Um, so, it's all started out where the investor purchased this property at an auction from the bank, okay? Uh, it was a foreclosure property. And so, the property was purchased. After they purchased this, they sent it over to me, okay? And I did my research and to find out who is the owner. Um, at least I get some information on this property, okay? Um, so, I went to the property, knock on the door, and find out if the owner that I researched was the, was the same of the people that live in there. So somebody opened the door. Um, it was, uh, I, I remember it was a, uh, a young gentleman that opened the door, okay? And he said that yes, they, uh, the, the person that actually owned this property was his parents and they did aware that the property is already going to foreclosure and they are ready to move they are packing already okay and I asked the guy hey you know what um, I'm here to see if I can make a deal with them to see if I can um, work out something where um, uh, or maybe help, you know, when during the move out, maybe giving them some incentive, the move out expense and stuff like that, since they they are already start moving already, okay? So they, and I also asked, hey, you know what? Can I um, enter the property and uh, sit down and talk? So they let me, and they, they even let me walk around the house. So I will be sharing with you some pictures that during that time that I took, okay, so it, it was a, 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 a nice clean home, okay, nothing uh, funny going on inside the property, um, everything was, was, was fine, so you can see this in the pictures. Okay. And then all of a sudden, um, when I returned and I, I, I came back again and to serve them with the, uh, with the uh, proper notice, uh, that is a three days to quit. Um, that is because uh, they are actually owner occupied that live in that property and the house got foreclosed. So I prepared that notice. Okay. Um, and then. I was in contact with them back and forth and then all of a sudden I lost contact, okay? So, and then they stopped negotiating with me. They, they for some reason, they just disappear, okay? Maybe they move out already, I don't know. So I was unable to contact them for a while after three days and also I waited out like maybe another week and I still can't get a hold of them. So I start to send this file Stop the eviction and law for detainer. Send this file over to our attorney office and we filed the eviction for this. And um, we waited a little bit and then we summoned uh, the person uh, that lived there. Um, so that way they can have a chance to file an answer or not. And I waited after five days. Uh, nobody responded. The, uh, the process server was still unable to get a hold of, of the person so that we have to ask the judge for the post and serve notice. Okay, so we waited another 10 days. So it's the total is 15 days. So after 15 days, still no one respond to the summon that we uh, that the the that we serve them, okay? So after that, so the property is automatically went into default because nobody respond after 15 days. The next step is that um, 
we get judgment because nobody responds. So basically the judge ruled this as a, um, it's basically automatic one because um, nobody respond. Okay, so after that we sent over to the sheriff department um, and then we waited another probably two weeks for the sheriff to come out. Um, and then they did come out, we, you know, uh, what is it? So we did come out, the sheriff did come out. So I have a video here that I show you. It was a sock, okay, a sock, where the people that I, I, I used to talk to is not there anymore. It was some random people, like probably 17, 20 people I counted, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that video with you when the sheriff come in and they escort everybody out that house. I mean, the first time I was there, it was nice and clean. There was, it's just like a normal family living there, but maybe I think, okay, because they already moved out and the neighborhood uh, or somebody noticed that they already moved out and they start moving in and they turn this place into like a trap house, okay, where when when during the lockout, there's, there's like tons of people coming out and and then when I... And inside, we found, what is it, money, gambling money. Um, well, not a lot of money. They, they took it all already. But, like, it seemed like they, they have a, a setup where they start, they have a gambling host in there. There was cigarette but alcohols, drugs. Um, it was crazy. It's like a, it's just a total trap house for this neighborhood. I mean, um, and then at the end, the funny thing is that after everybody got escorted out, um, after you see the video, you will know how many people are gonna walk out. We're gonna do the count together, okay?
at the end when everybody's out, you know, we're about to leave and I, I, I heard some noise in the basement, okay? Under the basement, um, there's actually another guy hiding under there because they think it's, I think the, the sheriff come or something like that. So they, they, they hide under there. So I asked him, hey, you know, the, the, we're doing a lockout, so get out, you know? So the guy came, came running out and then just, just, just left. So that's it, you know, this, this, this is a crazy uh, case. Um, I never done case with, with something like this before, um, but it is what it is, okay? Um, it's a foreclosure uh, and we got the property back for the owners and the owner turned it and, and, um, and that's it. And if you like this video, uh, please help me by share, subscribe, and comment down below. You know, if you want to see any other type of uh, evictions or you have any questions, just ask me. I will try to make a video similar to your your and your was it your questions, so that way, um, hopefully, I answer your questions. Okay. Thank you, and see you next time.